when protecting databases, and we'll we will talk also about uh, protecting mainframes as well. The question and what some companies are actually doing is, well, I'm doing like I do with any other device. I collect the logs and I send those logs into my SIEM and in there I determine, you know, who is accessing or not supposed to. Not a very good strategy. Why? Because database logs are not only very, very talkative, uh, in fact, usually they take 20% when you turn logs on on a database you, you take 20% of the CPU cycle just producing logs but also all that gazillion number of logs which typically less than 1% has anything to do with security has to be processed by your SIEM in order to find things that are not that are, that are dangerous and you really do, do not know the, the, the SIEM guy doesn't know what's really happening on the database where the sensitive data is and all that in fact not even the DBAs n know where those uh, sensitive data are. So what we have is a technology on a protocol, Cadium, which basically starts by scanning your databases in order to determine where is your sensitive data. Simple cases like uh, social security numbers, uh, credit card numbers, uh, whatever is sensitive to your uh, your company, the, that scanning, that appliance, which can be physical or virtual, is going to scan that uh, database, uh, and regardless of the brand name, Oracle, SQL Server, Teradata, I mean, all, all the names are included there. And it's going to determine where that sensitive data is, so now you can establish a policy that determine who can actually uh, see the data, who can actually, will see the data masked dynamically, who will see part of that data redacted and who will simply, you know, will not be able to see the information and will be blocked. And as you establish that policy, what you can actually do is to tell Gallium to send to your SIEM that relevant information. For example, when somebody tries to access data they are not supposed to, you can send a syslog to curator or your SIEM and you know that can be correlated well so there's been uh, attempts of, uh, of logging in that have failed uh, more scanning attempts of logging successful privilege escalation and now I get something from Guardian well you can see all in, in a single offense the, the whole nature of the actual uh, incident you can also in order to protect uh, you know attacks from the operating system you can also encrypt the data addressed. All these technology runs at the OS level, so the DBA doesn't even have ways of, uh, of, of really overcoming this uh, particular uh, technology. The same we are ha have expanded to other sources of unstructured data, like SharePoint and, 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 and file servers. And in fact, soon the, we're going to have uh, be announcing the capability for, for file activity monitoring for Windows, Linux, and Unix, in which you can apply the same principle into all these technologies. In a sense, the mainframe shares a lot with databases in that if you're going to be thinking of sending SMF logs into your SIEM, the same happens as, 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 as uh, with, with databases. They're way too many and they're way too cryptic for the, for the networking guy that, that typically is on the SOC on the, on the SIEM to understand what is actually meaningful on the mainframe. What we have is a technology called C-Secure in which the, the mainframe administrator with mainframe lingo sits on a green screen and really decides what are the things that are permissible in the same way that we were, were uh, here with databases, which things are really permissible and which are not. And then it also has the capability of sending only relevant information to the SIEM when violations to that policy actually happen. So you don't need to send the logs in the case of the databases or the mainframe and you have even a much better security than if you were actually sending those logs.